Hey guys, my name is Cole Brenny, founder of PracticingDentist.com, where I teach dentists to master their profession, learn the business of dentistry, and build practices that they love. So thanks a lot. Welcome back. This is part two of my multi-part series on new dentist personal finance and uh, debt management. My background, I'm a dentist. I'm not a financial planner or advisor, but I've interviewed a lot of gurus and I've put together a lot of good content and material to help you guys. So I'm just sharing what I know, um, my advice and tips uh, personally on how to go about building your own practice, taking the right steps to get you there. So let's go through. I'm going to give you guys my top five steps for managing finance, managing debt, getting to the dream practice. So what are the steps that are, that are going to get you guys there? Let's start with step one. That is managing debt. So by managing debt, I mean when you guys graduate, you need to know where is your debt? How much debt do you have? Does it make sense to refinance? Um, and you need to pick the right payment plan. So you'd be amazed at how many new dentists I talk to that have no idea how much debt they have, which is crazy because it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. So first step is get organized, put that together. Um, I could go each of these topics, each of these five uh, steps, I could go way in depth on and I do in my other programs, but for now, um, top level, manage your debt, know where it is, know if refinancing um, is the best option for you, and know which payment plan is the best option for you. I would usually recommend for a new dentist a graded payment option where your payments start low and as you uh, increase your income, you can ramp up. So step one. And step number two, is don't overspend. So another thing that I talk about with, with young dentists is you guys have no concept um, in the first couple years what your income is going to be. I mean, you're still ramping up. You're still getting experience. You're trying to figure out how to be profitable as a new dentist. So one of the things I would recommend is don't overspend or over leverage yourself. The big house, leave it alone. The new car, Get something used. Keep your payment small. You guys want to stay liquid, which brings us to number three. Liquidity. Stay liquid, meaning don't be overburdened with payments already, where you're already fighting every day, worrying about can you make the next debt payment, um, because you're already paying a huge mortgage and a huge car payment. So one of the keys for, for new dentists, young dentists, is stay liquid. Keep the pressure off yourself. Be able to ramp up so that you can invest in yourself uh, by, by getting good CE, by training yourself and working and getting experience, which brings us to point four. Work, train, and get experience. So as new dentists, um, if you want to get to the dream practice where you're, you're able to market yourself, your practice, by doing a lot of good procedures that are profitable, that patients love, that attract patients because they don't have to go to specialty, um, specialty dentists, um, specialists that you have to refer to, you can keep them all in-house. If you want to build a great profitable practice, you need to train yourself, you need to get experience. So I have a great CE guide we can go over later. Um, you need to be in a good position your first couple years as an associate. Um, go out, become an associate somewhere. That's usually the best way to gain experience um, at, a, at a good private practice if you can. If you can't, get into a community clinic or a, a residency or someplace where you're able to, to get experience with some advanced procedures, where you have some mentorship and some training. So that's really important. Set yourself up, make yourself marketable, build your skills so that you can get to step five, which is buy your practice. I went over that in part one because I think it's really important. I think um, buying a practice is an important step to financial freedom, building wealth as a dentist. Um, as we went over in video one, it's very difficult being a career corporate associate to pay off your debt. You're just, you're not making enough and you're working really hard. And I think you guys went to school way too long, um, put way too much effort into, into your career and your lives to be working for somebody else. Build your own career uh, and make it one that you love, that you do the type of dentistry you want and the patients you want, making the income you want in the location you want to live. That's possible. It just takes planning and it takes walking down the right steps. It takes walking down the right path. So to get to the dream, buy your practice. Another thing I'm going to bring up, another um, scenario is partnership. So partnership is a good option um, if you find the right setup, the right scenario. It's a great option. I, I went into a partnership 
actually after I bought my practice. A partnership increases my profitability and it decreases my stress because I have someone to share the load. So partnerships are a whole nother topic, but again, buy a practice, join a partnership, or buy a practice and create a partnership. Um, that's, that's probably the road for a lot of you guys is build a practice, hire an associate, hire a partner or sell to a partner. Um, and this all gets you towards the dream practice. There are a lot of steps to go in between. I can go way deeper and I will. If you guys um, want to learn more, join the Liftoff Academy or the Dental CEO program. My one-on-one -on -one coaching program is great. Um, and again, please like this video, um, like us on Facebook and, and subscribe. Become free subscribers. Go to my website. Just, just type in practicingdentist.com and you'll see the subscribe button where um, it's free and you get a lot of videos and training um, and just, just uh, a place to stay connected to other young dentists as well. I have a, a mastermind group you can join where um, we're able to share cases and go over um, stresses and, and difficult procedures. And if you want to join that, let me know. Shoot me an email. Otherwise, I hope this helps. Steps one to five um, toward the dream practice. So I'll keep, uh, I'll keep shooting out great videos. Um, I've got the ne next one coming out probably in a week or so. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks a lot.